You just don't let them go. Just don't let them get back in the earth. That's the thing. That's the trick of it. Right. Right. I mean, you're in a, a lot of you are in a cellar at the moment, which is kind of already in the earth, so... Mm. Yeah, he's gotta, you gotta be buried though, you gotta, you gotta have that grave dead you on know, you. From, from a certain perspective, you could be considered to be dead and buried currently, you know? Yeah, yeah, it depends how <laughs> pessimistic you are. I mean, what we're talking about, it, it's, you know, it's not like Ferrin's got the poison condition or anything and he can help. Right, right, it's, it's, it's not like he's ridiculously drunk right now. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you guys are, and, you guys will be fine. I so believe in you. Long. I believe we are, we're in gonna you. We're going to be fine. You're going to be great. I'm just, Fair I'm just, I'm just probably, I'm just probably not going to contribute much to this fight, but yes. <laughs> Farron Fer can't die here. You know, he's, uh, he's the hero of Waterdeep. Of Waterdeep, that's true. Hero I don't Water think he's going to die. I'm just worried I'm not going to be able to do much of use. <laughs> it's more what I'm concerned about, uh, but we'll see. We'll yeah, see. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah, see I mean, you know, you could roll good, mm. right, Matt? You can, you can do that, right, Matt? You, I can do that, yes. but uh, <laughs> like, I, I, uh, you can, right? You've checked. So. I can, <laughs> I can, yeah. That turns off cursed dice toggle. I don't think we need that for today's session. No. Um, <laughs> Does anyone have lesser restoration? That is that is a good that is a legitimately a good question. I think the only person who might have it is um uh yeah, yeah. And uh I feel Probably like Laffer would be better off firing radiant bolts of That's true. <laughs> but uh yeah, no, I don't know if I don't know if Laffer does or not. Um Hello. Hello everybody. Uh hello. I've already said hello to three people, so hello, uh, Maya. How you doing? Hey. Doing all right. Yeah. Good. 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 Um, doing better than Marin. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I just woke oh. up. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Well. I mean, normally I would say I'm reasonably certain that you're doing better than a person who's had their entire shop destroyed. Um, apparently a bird child uh, fed on in their attic uh, bedroom and um, being cornered, a vampire, uh, cornered in their own cellar by a vampire spawn. But you have just woke up, so you're right. It could be... It, it, could, be, it could be similar. It could be a similar level of catastrophe. <laughs> um, Mark, hello. Can you hear us? Just restarting so my mic works. Okay. All right. Oh, well, you know, it wouldn't be a Thursday or a Tuesday with, without a issue. Oh, uh, truly. I think that's the real curse. Um, well, just so we don't forget, um, before we begin, Collins, you were going to try and do a trip attack at range, right? I was. Cool. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remember about the resistance to damage. So, I've changed, I've I fixed that. Uh, and the second thing I'm going to do is um, do I need to give you a saving throw? Yeah, it's a DC. Well, so I need to roll my superiority die first. Sure. So, there's that. I believe that so adds that to damage as well. Right. Correct. Yep. Cool. Okay. So let me just add Sets a bit more damage. Three more damage halved, and then yep. she has to succeed on a DC thirteen saving throw. Okay. Uh, strength. Correct. Okay. Well, not proficient in it. At least they're very strong, but they're not proficient. No. <sighs> I'll take that inspiration. Thank you very much. Uh, go. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> good start. <laughs> We're starting strong. Oh, good lord. Okay. Oh, shite. Well, well, that's. Uh, you know, I think the pain just invigorates her. It, it uh, it drives her to greater heights of wanting to eat Kelvin. Um. Can you guys hear me? Oh, uh, we yeah. can now. Yes. Hello. Hello, sir. How you doing? Uh, I'm good. I'm having to use phone. Oh, no. Um, 
God, because ever since I installed that voice modifier thing for that oh, one no. gimmick, the other game has just messed up all the pathways, so... Oh. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be real careful with those. They get they gunk up the work something for us um, with audio. Uh, I'm just uh, getting rid of that. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, sorry, well, I'm well, here. Which, which just 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 so uh, just so regular watches and just so we know um, uh, which one to avoid. Uh, which which voice mod did you use? Well, it was just a voice mod. So okay. Yeah, I think I think I remember. It was like the free one. Yeah, I remember that one being a little intrusive. Um, yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, good to know. You heard it here first, folks. Um, well, uh, hey, I see you in game. Okay, cool. So, as I said, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Curse of Strahd. Welcome back to Barovia. I feel like I should say welcome to the internet, but that's just because I've been listening to too much Bo Burnham. Um, and this place is worse than the internet anyway, because in this place, you are in Valaki. The, the, the scene is thus, if it was a private noir novel, a private eye noir novel, Valaki, at night. Uh, our, our eponymous heroes have staggered drunk to their fellow companion Marin's shop and house. There, they have discovered a scene of irredeemable carnage. Debris everywhere. Ravens crying out warnings. A bird child in a bed fed upon. And a mysterious box in the cellar that wasn't there before. Where we left this game last session, ladies and gentlemen. Your characters were engaged in a life or death struggle. Because it seems that the vampire that came to visit Marin that one fateful night has left behind present a trap for you. And said trap, despite said bird child, is hungry. So, without any further ado, we are at the top of the round. Where we left it, uh, Kelvin and this vampiric lady were grappling at the foot of the ladder into the cellar. Collins and Ferran were around the top of the ladder. Marin was in the other corner of the cellar behind some workbenches, having just scavenged an assortment of alchemical items and poisons in the hopes that, uh, that one of them, amongst other things, uh, that one of them would do something against the vampire. Laffer, Laffer had just begun to glow. Like he was uh, a shonen character from My Hero Academia, but with like constellations across him. And the vampire was trying to eat Kelvin. Also, the vampire has a javelin in their arm, which literally, as you uh, notice, uh, you can see up close Kelvin and Marin and Far Farron and Collins from the uh, the top of the ladder. Um, has anyone watched, uh, there's a particular anime uh, called uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Gross. <laughs> Lol. Um, uh, <laughs> if you have, uh, the regenerative effect that they use for the uh, homunculus, the crackling red lightning uh, that seems to close wounds, that's pretty much ha what's happening. Um, the... Uh, the, ja the, the javelin went through uh, their arm and sort of impaled them. But there's this uh, there's this crackling red necrotic energy uh, that seems to be eroding away the javelin uh, inside of uh, the vampire's arm and sealing the wound closed slowly. So, top of the round. Kelvin, you are grappling the vampire. You don't have to do anything aside from keep a free hand to maintain that, uh, unless they break free somehow. So, 
What would you like to do? I thought the vampire grappled Kel. No, no. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, the vampire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you still don't have to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the vampire's yeah. doing all the work. <laughs> You're right. Uh, okay. you, if you want to try and escape that, um, there is an escape DC. It takes an action, and you can use either strength athletics or dexterity acrobatics. Uh, alternatively, you can do something else. You have drawn your sword. You know they're resistant well, to swords, but you have drawn them. So, what would you like to do? Yeah. Uh, first of all, can you hear me well? Yes. Okay, just as usual, let me know if I start like chopping, lagging, or if I suddenly just drop off. Of course, you know, of course, you know course. Chinese internet. Um, <clears throat> all right. Um, yeah, I always al already can see that I have some connection problems with um, Roll20. Hopefully it will get fixed. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Um, um, any, in any case... Yeah, yeah, yeah. In any case, um, since I'm just grappled, I'm not incapacitated or paralyzed which means i can attack normally right i can i just cannot move yeah correct yeah. Just stops yeah you're moving. not restrained you're just grappled your yeah. speed is zero that's basically it all right so i uh, having my weapon already drawn i'm gonna try to run uh the the vampire spawn through sure yeah makes sense um and just want to let you know beforehand, I'm gonna, depending on my results, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna uh, think whether I will uh, use my luck point to reroll again, because this is really a dangerous situation. So I'm gonna do my sure. attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, do, do, when you say your luck point, um, do, do you mean your inspiration? No, I as lucky. a variant human. Yeah. My yeah, as a variant feet. human, my feet is lucky. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. No worries. Yeah, you don't have to declare All right. that until. Yeah. Uh, okay. So here comes the attack. Fingers. Here crossed. comes the arm. Come on, roll twenty. Yeah. After you roll the die, but before the outcome is determined. Sure. Yeah. I'll give you a moment. Yep. So. Whenever Roll20 decides to let you. Come on, Roll20. Exactly. Kelvin, Kelvin's about to die. You, you gotta... <laughs> <laughs> let me try one more time, but whatever comes, just take the first. The first. Yeah, of course, of course. No. It says, your connection to the server has been interrupted. Ah. Uh, what a great, right. great yeah. uh, way to start. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Um, I it's don't... okay. I don't Let want to me... roll. I want. Oh, oh, yeah, I can see. Okay, so the Fantastic. first one, yeah, uh, the first one is fourteen, and I'm not gonna be satisfied with that. Okay. So I automatically rerolled uh, the second one using my luck point, and mm -hmm. it's eighteen. So you can tell me if it hits or not. With an eighteen, your blade crashes into the vampire's rib cage. Go ahead and roll me some damage. Um, I wish I could do that. Yeah. Uh, it's still. In any case, uh, I will roll damage once it loads. Of course, um, of but while while we are waiting, I'm going to use my superiority die, which I will also sure. uh, roll later for damage, um, to do the um, a menacing attack. So unless yeah. the vampire spawn is completely immune to fear, you have to roll um, D a DC of uh, 13. Yep. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Yep. And uh, they're not. They're, like they're, in fact, in, in many ways, vampires are quite craven creatures. There, there are quite a lot of things that vampires are afraid of. Uh, but yeah, okay, I will give you a wisdom saving throw, DC 13. Well, just the first of these. Ah, I rolled a 21. Don't know if you can Damn. see that. Okay. Uh, but you will still hit. Them. No, still. Uh, and uh, uh, does menacing attack uh, add your superiority die to damage? Yes. Fantastic. Um but but since i'm still loading i wouldn't like you, you can want me to? you can freely switch to another yeah to another player and I, I, when i get in i will just throw you for damage and then you can subtract or whatnot fantastic fantastic and did you have a bonus action that you wanted to use no no that's it for now cool all right in which case yeah so uh kelvin you you slam your blade into them um they they don't seem unfortunately despite however much damage you do um they don't seem afraid of you despite the powerful attack, perhaps because they have you pinned up against the ladder and are sort of snapping for your neck. Um, 
but you definitely do damage. Uh, you definitely hit them, uh, and we'll we'll take that uh, when you get back in. Uh, Farron, sure. you're, you, okay. you're you're you may well be still drunk, but like <laughs> in, in, in a similar fashion to how coffee or a cold shower can do it. Um, the uh, adrenaline of this moment is uh, rap rapidly sobering you up, um, mm -hmm. at, le at least enough to potentially fight. Go ahead and give me a constitution saving throw. Okay, uh, come on, no be shit. Hey! hey! That's funny. <laughs> so, you, maybe, maybe it's the adrenaline, maybe it's the power pulsing out of your ring, uh, running through you, but maybe it's the years of live of hardened drinking. Who maybe knows? it is the years of hardened drinking <laughs> and the and the cirrhosis that you've probably developed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> One or other of these things <laughs> means. I mean, that... he was immune. He was immune to sleeping gas. Take it's make of that true. what you will. You know, like the the amount of toxins this man has already put into his body. He, you, you. I mean, you were a private investigator and a bounty hunter in um uh. In water deep i imagine that that's hot that's you gotta gotta get a lot of drinks from clients and stuff. <laughs> oh my god three twos kelvin what the heck damn yeah i don't know what's going on it's not my it's not my day or night whatever well, um no. in any case 10 10 uh 10 yep. divided by two i guess so it's five damage total. yeah so so around around about this point um from these two strikes you guys have realized uh, if you hadn't already, if you didn't already know in character, uh, aside from, I suppose, Laffer, who can't see this, uh, the rest of you have realized that uh, at least mundane weapons, uh, vampires seem to be very resistant to damage from them. It's like striking an armored person, except they only, they're only they only wearing a dress. Um, and furthermore, like as, as you strike them, there's this sort of crackling red light that is already beginning to sort of heal and knit together the wounds. Um, but you do still sort of like you, you break a bone you think kelvin the vampire hisses um and yeah Farron. so this turn not only do you get inspiration from that nat 20 um uh this turn at least you don't have the poison condition okay you, you're, you're so, able, you're able that, to that's gonna focus st enough that's gonna slightly change what i was gonna do sure. um in that case what i'm gonna do i'm gonna throw the hex blades curse on her Sure. And I'm going to run up and stab her. I'm going to tip with a, pull my two-handed greatsword and just try and cleave the bitch in two. When, when, you say, when you say run up and stab her, you are at the well, top of Well, go the down ladder. the ladder, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> scale down the ladder, like, just or even just jump down with a long sword. I mean, like, just try oh, and okay. impale her. Oh, wow, okay. Well, I mean, so the vampire spawn and Kelvin are, like, struggling at the bottom of the ladder, and you're like... Still half. Drunk. I'm gonna use like, my wait, inspiration wait. for this. Yeah, I'm gonna use my inspiration for this so I don't impale oh, well, Kelvin. Well, I'm actually, gonna really, I'm really focusing on this swing. Uh, I was gonna say, if you're willing to go prone and take the fall damage, I'll give you advantage on this attack. Um, I've only got, I've already took a took a fall damage from the stairs. I don't have a lot of. Okay. Advantage. In, in, in which case, in which case, if you don't, you can spend your inspiration to get advantage, and you will get an acrobatics check at the bottom to not take the fall damage or go prone. Fair, I'll yeah. take it. Um, oh, actually, before I do that, yeah, where's Morrigan? Has she arrived yet, or is she still on her way? Um, how high did you 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 wanted her in the clouds, she was, right? Or, no, I, no. I just out because I, I said I said I wasn't too bothered about people seeing us together. I, changed, oh, okay. I, so, so I didn't was... want her to feel ostracized, so she was just sort of uh, about 30, 30, 40 foot in the air, like above so the sort of rooftop level, hound. but not. Um, I think she's flying in through the doorway at this point. Yeah, she's not here yet. No, okay. Not quite by your side, but it's like she's sending a mental message, like I'm on my way. I'm on my way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Don't be shit. Don't be shit. Don't be shit. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, that's oh. that's shit, Matt. That's shit. Oh, that's shit. <laughs> With such good damage as well. Twelve damage, but nah. You oh. stab. You leap down the ladder, stabbing down, and uh, the uh, vampirus still holding on to Kelvin slams him against the wall and her own shoulder against it as well so that your blade yeah, right. just cuts past her mm. and then you realize you need to tuck and roll because otherwise yeah. <laughs> uh so go uh, ahead and, uh yeah. give us a 
Acrobatics. Yeah. Fuck oh, yeah. No. Not only does the blade go past her, but with her foot, the vampirus kicks out as you're falling past, sending you tumbling away. You've still got your grip on the blade somehow, uh, but you yeah. tumble away uh, into a space past her, full prone, and I I'm afraid you're going to take some fall damage. Fucking hell. Oh! Oh! Ah. Shit! Well, I'm nearly dead. Not not only do you take <laughs> not only do you take the fall damage, but it feels like that kicked that kick broke like several of your ribs. Hmm. Anything else? That's my turn. <laughs> that's, that's my turn. All right. Oh, Marin, you scavenged some stuff. Go ahead and roll me a d6. And uh, the, when you've got that d6, roll me however many d100 you roll. So if you roll like a three, roll me three d100. How many d6 again? Uh, just just roll a d6 and then... Um... Oh, <laughs> God, no! Mary. Okay, well, it, it's okay. All right. Roll a d100. 42. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right. Whatever. Uh, it's fine. I have a plan. Cool. Kind of. Okay, well, with regards to your plan, hold on just a second. Trash. Hmm. Boy. Okay. It's never good when he goes, hmm. Wondering about this one. Okay, that one. check something yeah okay so you have you have plucked up a, a vial of i mean so m most of the other things you picked up like you picked up some alchemical fire uh, and you picked up some acid uh so you've got like two vials of alchemical fire one vial of acid um but the other thing you plucked up was a vial of malice uh, a, a rather aptly named poison um, it's an inhaled poison, so you throw it at someone and then like it, it bursts in a five foot cube. Um, and a creature subjected to this poison must succeed on a constitution saving throw, become poisoned for one hour, and the poisoned creature is blinded. Hell useful. Whether or not the vampire will be vulnerable to this, you, you don't know. Yeah. But... That is what you have. So you have you have two vials of alchemical fire, one vial vial of acid, one vial of malice, and uh, I believe you picked up. Did you say you picked up a symbol? Picked up my uh, my necklace. The necklace, right? That, oh yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yes, my Joker. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah, yeah. My little trinket. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sentimental value because you know. You've just Thanks. Yeah, right. You've just seen Farron <laughs> plunge down the ladder and get kicked away by the Vampirus. She is about fifteen feet away from you, uh, currently. Farron is about ten feet away from you. Kelvin is about fifteen feet away from you. The ladder is about fifteen feet away from you, but there is there is a vampire in the space <laughs> just underneath it, which makes, you know, it a bit difficult to get to, uh, unless you've got like the jump spell or something. Um what would you like to do? Okay. Um second oh wait i still have those darts okay so you do still... still have those darts. okay okay so i can still still do this mm -hmm. wow that's a really freaking <laughs> oh. okay all right so, what is, that, is that what you're casting that yep i'm gonna do it Okay, uh, so Hail of Thorns, let me read this. Uh, the next time you hit a creature with a ranged weapon attack before the spell ends, this spell creates a rain of thorns that sprout from your ranged weapon or ammunition. In addition to the normal effect, the target of the attack and each creature within five feet of it must make a dexterity saving throw. I feel like I should point out that will make Kelvin and uh, <sighs> Baron take a saving throw. I thought I was 15 foot away. 
Yeah, there are 15 feet. Yeah, so... Oh, but... The vampire I'm doing it on the vampire. Yeah, you, both, fa okay. both, both Theron and Kelvin are within five feet of the vampire spawn currently. Okay. Fuck. Okay. And oh. I don't know about Kelvin. I think he's okay, but... Uh, that That'd might... probably kill me. Well, it, it, <laughs> yeah, it, 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 I think you're, you're on nine hit points, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that, that would literally that, kill okay. me. That will murder him, so I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> no, know, I'm not gonna we... do hail. <laughs> <laughs> I know we've had our differences, but come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh fuck! All right, because my other plan was to use. Betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> well, my other plan was to use hex. To make her obviously, mm -hmm. you know. yeah, well, that's a good idea. Yeah, hex, yeah. hex her strength rolls make her worse at grappling. Okay, so um, but, okay, so bonus action, you cast hex. Um, does it look like yeah. anything when you cast hex? Uh, not really. Okay, sure. So you just mutter a curse, uh, and then uh, give us an attack roll. What what are you using to make the attack? Yeah. Oh, what do I have? I don't got shit. <laughs> don't ever the, think that. Yeah, I have the. Yeah, I was gonna say I have the dark but I definitely you have don't have them listed on the thing. Probably a chair. Oh yeah, I can make you a dot. Give me a sec. Um, I just realized I did not add it. That's okay. Uh, not only are they darts, they're poisoned darts. Well, this will be our determination if she can take. Poison damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it the two? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh. Th there is. There we go. Uh, yeah, and then um, your archery fighting style will apply to this because uh, it's a ranged okay. weapon. And um, just gotta get the poison up so I remember what it is because it's been a while since you're in the dungeons. <laughs> okay. Right. It's not that trap. Not that trap. There are a lot of traps in the dungeons, guys. Just, just so you know. <laughs> you know, re 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 reasonably fair assumption, I know. Um, six. Okay. Really. There we go. Cool. Okay. I know what poison they have on. Oh, uh, yeah. So give us a dart attack. It's, uh, it, it's in your sheet now. Yeah. Hey! Nice. Hey. Okay, right. Nice. Uh, so you get inspiration. First things first. Second thing, that hits. So go ahead and click the damage for the dart. That's. Do okay. So they are resistant to the damage from the dart, and unfortunately, they are resistant to the hex damage as well because that's necrotic, and they're resistant to necrotic damage. But, oh yeah. But the poison. Uh, so uh, target that's hit. Um, takes piercing damage, which you've already done from the dart, and then has to succeed on a constitution saving throw. Okay. Which they have failed. And, interesting fact that you may or may not know, vampires, in 5e at least, can be poisoned. Ooh. So, uh, and the poison on this dart trap, and it's a good thing that it didn't hit Wazir, because it would have killed him probably, is pretty pretty potent. Uh, go ahead and roll me two d ten. Two d ten. Two d ten. Recommend nice. rolling tens. Ah, that's pretty good, uh, above average. Uh, so you fling the dart, and not only did they take five, da they take five damage from the dart. Uh, they take two damage from the hex, surrounding down, and then. Uh, as you fling the dart into their into like into their side, just as Farron is collapsing, Farron, you see this dart whistle over your head and then <laughs> strike the vampire in the side, and then the vampire begins to keen in pain, like hissing, ah! because there is this horrible vapor 
greenish vapor sort of rising up from where the dart is uh, that is like it looks like it's eroding her flesh in a way that the uh, the regeneration is trying to heal but it's a lot of damage and it it looks like uh, it, it's sort of it's damaging her much faster uh, and much more easily than each of your strikes do and she takes all that damage So, that's an action and a bonus action. Yep, I'm you, dead. Okay, you, you stay, stay, <laughs> stay in, staying behind the workbench? <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Okay, sure. Makes sense. And yet, despite all that pain, it still haven't, hasn't relinquished its grip on Kelvin. Laffer. You've just assumed starry archer form. Mm-hmm. So, Farron is down here. Baron is further away. Kelvin's at the top of the ladder. What do you want to do? If I get to the top of the ladder, can mm -hmm. I see the vampire? Yes. Yeah, you can. And how much movement would it take to get there? Uh, so based on where you were previously, ten feet. Okay. Yeah. Can I to get to there? Yeah. So. I have a question about uh, fairy fire. Okay. Can, can I choose who it targets, or does it have to be everyone I within the area? I suspect it has to it's be a, everybody. It's everyone, I'm afraid. Okay. Um, a 20 foot cube in range. In okay, so uh, based on how they it, fell, um, you could you could target a fairy fire um, so that it would only potentially hit Ferran and the vampire spawn. But it is good to hit. No, I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to do that because sure. I think it's too risky. Um, I wouldn't recommend giving the vampire advantage to attack anybody. No. No, 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 definitely not. <laughs> I mean, I will say uh, this I'm throwing it already has advantage if it tries to attack me right now. That is true. L luckily, it's a bit busy. <laughs> luckily, Kelvin is keeping it busy. Um, so hopefully, yeah. hopefully. It hey, we're, we're, we're well. trying our best to keep you alive here. I know, I know. If that sword had a hit, that would have been epic. But it would have, sadly I... not. Okay, in that case... It was then, not to be. I, I would like to use my action um, to send off one of the free guiding bolts that I get as mm -hmm. a um, circle of stars. Sure. So... Um, and I would like to use my inspiration on this attack. So I mean, that seems like a good idea. Oh, Ooh. cool. Okay. So, with a twenty-three, what does it look like when your guiding bolt streaks down? Um, I grab the necklace that I have around my neck. And um, it's almost like, I guess, in an anime when people like shoot out stars, sure. I guess, attacks. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. Just like a, a yeah, a star yeah, coming awesome. out. And uh, okay, yeah. uh, so the, this this tiny miniature sun, this star, flashes down from the top of the ladder. Uh, the vampire spawn looks up and takes it full in the face. Uh, there's an explosion <laughs> of radiant energy. And uh, the keening hiss that the vampire uh, was doing previously turns into a full, full-throated scream, uh, which I am not going to subject your mics to. But, but let like, just she is in so much pain. Um, and even better, everybody now can see her as the radiant damage strikes her. That crackling lightning that you saw that seemed to be regenerating her wounds slowly stops it seems to get blasted away by the radiant energy uh, as if subjecting her to radiant damage will stop her from healing mm. also she gets covered in uh, you know glittering starlit sparkles uh, which i believe give the next person to attack her advantage right which will be me Oh, okay. <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah. I'm following it up, bitch! <laughs> uh, with my uh, bonus action, and I'm currently already in uh, archer form, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will use my archer ability. Oh, nice. Yes! Damn! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, so, 
So she no, she re- she reels away, uh, still holding on to Kelvin somehow, but her, but her face burning with this horrible starlight. And as she does so, um, uh, does, is this like a like an, a starlit arrow? Yeah. So I kind of, you know, I basically like using a air arrow. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing imagining the gesture of shooting, making like a bow of starlight and drawing like a yeah. like an arrow and like firing Fair them down. Sailor Moon S. Yeah, very much Sailor Sailor Moon. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Um, uh, the, the arrow impales her, like, uh, like just below the chest, like uh, just above her breastbone, uh, and with another explosion of radiant light. And yeah, she, uh, the screaming only gets louder, <laughs> um, uh, and she looks very badly damaged uh, from both of those attacks. Like, um, and she's not healing. So, excellent. And then I'm just gonna use the rest of my movement to get back from the edge because i feel like she's probably gonna want to target me yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you're not wrong but i'm hoping that hoping that maybe she was engaged that she didn't actually notice me but i don't know she probably did mm, no <laughs> set her on fire with all that stuff probably yeah, yeah. she i was she... gonna say it's either gonna be you or me so yeah. you know. uh the uh yeah i mean don't get me wrong she was potentially considering uh, either disengaging and going after Marin or biting Kelvin or trying to bite Kelvin to sort of get some hit points back um, before sort of maybe jumping on Farron. But now, <laughs> uh, as as Laffer backs off from the edge, um, now, uh, well, I've got good news. The good news is, Kelvin, you're no longer grappled. Uh, she, she, oh, really, nice. she, she immediately releases mm. the grapple uh, with a shriek of pain and rage. Uh, and even better news, um, she is going to provoke uh, attacks of opportunity uh, from Ferran on the floor, admittedly with disadvantage, uh, and yeah. Kelvin, not with disadvantage, as she does uh, a, a kind of a superhero jump up to the middle of the ladder, just just literally, just from no, no running, no nothing, just jumps uh, uh, into the air to grab the middle of the ladder. Uh, so... Uh, does she enter? I mean, is she within she ten ha- feet of me now? She hasn't yet, but she's gonna. Okay. She's gonna get ready <laughs> <laughs> because it is very clear that she's gonna go after Laffer. But to get to Laffer, she has to go through Collins. Um, so, uh, but first, Farron and Kelvin, go ahead and give me an attack of opportunity. Mm. Oh, Farron! So much damage. Could have oh. done so much damage. Your swords sweep through the air, but honestly, Kelvin, you weren't expecting her to let you go, and Ferran, you were already... I'm on of, the floor. Well, <laughs> you, you just dropped 20 feet off a ladder, and... Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, your to be sp- fair, I didn't quite realize the ladder was 20 foot. I probably wouldn't have jumped down if I'd known. I thought it was 10 foot. No, I was like, no. I'll be fine. Um, didn't realize it was 20. Uh, your, it's quite a deep basement. Um, your, uh, your swords clash. Like with a clang sound where she was only a moment ago um she yeah. leaps 10 feet up the ladder and then ig- kind of ignoring the ladder she's just digging her claws like her hands are making like claws she's digging them into the stonework like into the brick and climbing at a ridiculously fast pace like looking like spider-man climbing up a wall um but as she moves another five feet she does indeed come within 10 feet of you collins at the top of the ladder Hey! Okay. That is a hit. God damn it. (laughs) (laughs) That is not much damage. The halberd just kind of glances off her. Um, uh, She she takes some. Um, I don't happen to have a sentinel, do you, by any chance? (laughs) What was that? I'm sorry. He was asking if you had a sentinel. That would be real handy for me right now. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I, 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 I was 99% certain you didn't, but yeah. So, she does provoke, but it doesn't stop her. Uh, she scrambles to the top of the ladder with the speed of a spider climbing up a wall. And um, uh, just l- looks at you for a moment, Collins, spits and leaps away from you, reaching for Laffer. Can I... I'm I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I, I can't I can't battle master fighter, but uh, 
So can I go ahead and try my maneuver again? And uh, oh yeah, try and knock her back, knock her back yeah. down the ladder. Uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yep. Cool. So it's another DC thirteen saving throw. Sure. And roll the extra damage. Strength. Yep. Roll an eight. That is the opposite. More abs. Stop talking positively to me. I really need you to be negative. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, sorry, I forgot. No, normally when I talk positive to players, it helps, but I forgot that you're like the um, the anti dice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait. So, do I need to say positive or negative about the strength saving throw? I don't know. I'm just gonna roll it. <laughs> hey. Else. Oh, okay. Right. So. She, you you hit her with the halberd. She keeps on coming, uh, but uh, you manage to get the uh, the sort of uh, piercing end of the halberd and like the crook of the axe caught on her shoulder. And you do much like uh, sailors did uh, when people try to board their boats with boarding hooks. You just sort of push down, <laughs> uh, and she can defy physics a certain amount on the on the. Um, on the brickwork, uh, but she can't defy it that much. Uh, for a moment, she sort of flails in space, and then she drops backwards down the ladder. Um, go ahead and roll me a d6 because uh, she wasn't expecting this. She's she's not she's not going to be acrobatic enough. Okay, so uh, she takes two damage. Uh, interesting fact, by the way, guys. Uh, falling damage is untyped. It's not bludgeoning. You don't resist it if you've got weapon resistance. Uh, you can kill werewolves by dropping them off cliffs. Um, <laughs> just, just, just so you know. Just in case you encounter some werewolves. <laughs> I mean, what are the odds of that? What are the odds in Barovia, right? <laughs> I was gonna say, give it like three weeks. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna, you know. Um, but yeah, so she drops back down uh, to the bottom of the ladder. Okay, so she uh, moved 15 feet up, then you hit her, then she fell back down and went prone, which halves her remaining speed. Um, okay, okay, okay. All right, so she slams back down into the floor. She has just enough speed remaining. And again, no, she's not acrobatic enough to, to stop the fall, but she is already like the, the best sort of martial artist using an arm to sort of spring back to her feet. Uh, but she can't move anymore. Um, okay. Well, <laughs> she uh, was going after Laffer. She could dash, but that seems like a bad idea. Mm. Yeah, okay, so Laffer's shooting. He needs to get out of the way of the radiant damage. Vampire. He's already provoked from you two. Yeah, okay, so uh, what she's going to do um, is, again, uh, oddly, uh, rather than leaping on you, Farron, or attacking you again, Kelvin, um, she springs um, to her feet. Uh, her speed is halved uh, now. Uh, she is going to take... Sorry, guys, I've, I've got to go a sec. Uh, oh, no delivery. worries. Um, she she is going to take the dash action, but she's going to take it in a way you might not expect. She dashes away from the ladder, out of sight, leaping onto the workbench next to Marin. Oh! Uh, her her claws reaching for your throat, keening, burning. Okay, so. Uh, she moved, she dashed. She doesn't have bonus action. <coughs> Collins. You, you've just seen her sort of blur away uh, from uh, at the bottom of the ladder. You can't see her anymore. You can hear her. <laughs> She's screeching, uh, but uh, you can't see her anymore. What do you want to do? Yeah, so I don't know how far away she is from the bottom of the ladder. Right. Okay. Uh, and you know she's more than five feet, but... It's like a it's like a trap door that you're looking down through, so you can't see the rest of the cellar. And the ladder's twenty feet. Twenty feet ladder, yep. If 
if I, I mean, if I jump down, would I? I wouldn't save any movement, right? I mean, I might as well. Uh, you no, you actually you do save movement as long as you don't go prone. So you'd get an acrobatics check or a dex save to avoid going prone. Uh, if you fail fail it though, you would go prone. You'd take two d six damage, and yeah, that would halve your movement because you'd have to get up from prone. So that's a gamble. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll try it. <laughs> All right, it oh went, it went so well down. for Farron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Farron was more drunk than... Mm, he wasn't drunk at that Colin. point. <laughs> but Collins, yeah. <laughs> uh, give me either a deck save or an acrobatics check. Yep, and I'm going to use my inspiration. Oops, and roll again. Didn't need it, but maybe. Yep. So, uh, 19 will allow you to avoid the fall damage. Uh, and land like three point landing style, um, not prone. So you you haven't used any movement. Oh, sorry, you've used five feet to get into the trap door, I guess. Um, yep. But beyond that, you haven't used any for the fall. Uh, she is fifteen feet away from you, uh, behind like ten feet away from Farron, uh, menacing Marin, who is like in the other corner, uh, opposite the ladder corner, um, uh, reaching for her throat on top of a workbench. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stroll stroll over and uh, <laughs> you know smack her with a halberd. Stroll <laughs> casually <laughs> with all that movement you have. <laughs> so so much movement. So much movement. all almost all your movement. All right, go ahead and give us uh, give us a halberd attack. Okay, well that'll hit. I'm I'm so confused. I'm used to not being able to roll above like a, a nine. Yeah. Oh, I did tell you I turned the cursed dice off. Well, I appreciate hey. that. Oh, and there's damage too. What, a, and, what and even is this? Damage too, and she's not regenerating this uh, this damage at the moment. So uh, you know, it's it's pretty good. All right, and I am gonna try to trip her again. Or, or at least so. I, I say that actually, she didn't regenerate damage on her turn. But, uh, yeah, I'll give you a saving throw. Go ahead and roll the superiority die. But I should say, uh, again, for your in-character knowledge, uh, the damage Laffa did um, seemed to stop her regenerating for, like, a few seconds. But she is beginning to regenerate again. You think if you don't hit her with radiant damage again before it gets to her turn, she will regenerate some of her wounds. Oh... That's the eight nice. we were looking for. There we go. Even with the resistance. Yeah, I mean, you're piling on the hurt. Like, she is desperately reaching to try and grab Marin, and, and you just hit her from behind, like, slamming her into the wall. Um, yeah, she, she looks pretty fucked up. Uh, and uh, let me go ahead and give you the saving throw. But despite that, she still won't go prone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go uh, prone so was... soon. I, I, Some of my movement, my action, mm -hmm. bonus action, I'm going to hit her with the other end of the halberd. Yeah, do it. Yeah, you are. Hey. And that's a d4, right? D4 plus your strength modifier. So, five. Nice, yeah. Uh, again, she resists the damage, but um, it's... Uh, Oh, each time you hit her, uh, Collins, uh, you are kind of knocking her prone. She's not very heavy, um, but she just springs back to her feet. It's it's like trying to um, trying to coil a spring. Just keeps on boing boing. <laughs> um, cool. And I and you said she is looking pretty hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, she's pretty fucked. Okay, I am gonna use my action surge then. Oh, uh, okay. With the caveat, these rolls are probably going to fail. <laughs> <laughs> I see oh. what you're doing there. You're subtly saying that so that they will actually succeed. Yes, yes, that's the plan. Uh, no, you're right. You were right the first time. Um, that does miss, I'm afraid. Um, so the way precision attack works... Oh, sorry. Um, before or after the roll, but before any effects are applied. Yeah, so you can still do it. I think I'm still good, yeah. yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure timing-wise... Uh, how many dice do you have left? Is this, this your last one? This is my last one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, that would miss were it not for the fact that you took extra care to make sure that you hit. 
Yeah, go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> oh, I rolled off a 10. Um, you smash it into her again. Uh, I don't think precision adds to the damage as well, right? Because it adds to hit. Correct. Yeah. Um, you, so, uh, if she was a Pokemon, you would be able to hear the emergency sound. Beep -boo, beep -boo, beep -boo. She looks very, very badly hurt. But, as I said, unless she gets hit with radiant damage again, or something else that turns off her regeneration, her regeneration is starting. Like, even even these grievous wounds that you have dealt her are beginning to crackle and heal. Anything right. else, Collins? I don't think so. Okay. Kelvin, you're free. You're not prone. You haven't been bit. All of these are good things. What do you want to do? Um, I don't know what your rules are about um, the flanking, so I would ask you, would it be possible to get into a position from here behind a vampire spawn or somewhere where I would have a flanking advantage? So, unfortunately, we don't, we don't use flanking, uh, or at least I generally don't use flanking. The main reason I don't use mm -hmm. flanking is because if I did, uh, it would invalidate the monsters that have pack tactics, and also the enemies would mm -hmm. have such an advantage on you that I, I'd feel compelled to like not flank. Um, so yeah, right. we, we're we're not using flanking, unfortunately. Uh, you can move okay. to the other side All of right. her definitely if you want to, um, and that might give you other tactical advantages, like in terms of like your threatened zone. Um, but yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, if it's all the same to you, then mm -hmm. I would just stand. Uh, yeah, considering I, I, I guess my thirty feet would be enough. Oh yeah, to, uh, yeah, yeah. She's, get behind. She, yeah, absolutely. All right. Um, so I'm gonna. Um, I have um, two remaining luck points, so I'm gonna probably. I'm gonna let you know, but I'm probably yep. gonna use um, if I'm not satisfied with the roll. Of course. Because of course. I think this is all or, or nothing now. So um, here comes the the first roll. Do it. I'd be willing to bet you're gonna keep it, but do you want to keep that? Twenty five. Oh no! Oh, that's that's a perfect timing for the internet. Um, <laughs> uh, Kelvin, can you hear us? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Do you yeah. want do you want to keep twenty five? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah sure. Like, yeah. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Uh, that will hit. Uh, so go ahead and roll the damage. Alrighty. See that damage. Alright, you add in a battle master dice. Uh we can't uh, okay. So you swing the greatsword towards her. Elvin. How would you like to? As long as you remove her regeneration. Oh, don't worry about the wisdom. Well, actually, I will roll the wisdom saving throw because she might get back up. Um, sure. But mm. uh, with, with 14 damage halved, she had seven hit points left. So, how would you like to potentially kill her? I would like to um, cut off her hand if the javelin is still stuck in it and just sure. let her bleed out. Okay, sure. Mm. Vicious. Uh, yeah, so uh, your your blade uh, flashes, and uh, the arm that she was raising over her head that still had half the javelin in it um, uh, to claw down towards Marin, uh, you sever at the elbow. Uh, she turns towards you, clutching the stump of her arm, screaming still with this crackling red energy pouring out of it. Uh, it's it's not she isn't so much bleeding as like energy and vapor is sort of pouring out of the stump, uh, as if she's just just like a bag of necrotic energy inside. Uh, she collapses. Um, it it is clear that she is essentially 
incapacitated currently. Um, the, the, the pain that you have inflicted on her um, is, is too much. Um, but it's also very clear to all of you in the cellar that um, unless you do something, she's going to possibly regenerate the entire arm. Uh, anything else, Kelvin? Um. Oh, and yeah, l let me give you the saving throw. See if she's menaced. Uh, oh, yeah. So you cut her arm off. So she's definitely menaced, yes. <laughs> uh, also, I... I can, uh, Kelvin, can you hear us? Yes, I'm here. You, you went a bit robot there for a second, so I just wanted to... Okay. Anything else? Um, yeah. Let me just, um... But with menacing attack... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so she's frightened of you until the end of your next turn. Yeah, cool. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use action surge now. I think it would be a good time uh, to do basically the same thing again. Uh, I'm gonna roll for an attack. Hopefully it will be good. If not, just gonna use my luck point. So here uh, comes uh, another attack. Okay, um, what kind of attack are you making? Um, so the action surge, and then one one more um, greatsword attack. Okay, sure. Uh, go ahead and give me a religion check, because you actually know about undead. Religion. Because, yeah, you know about undead because okay. of your backstory, so... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, okay, carry on, carry on. All right. Okay. Back incoming. Uh, gonna keep this one, so it's 19. Sure. Uh, you actually have advantage. And gun. Um, uh, she's she's okay. down currently. All right. Uh, uh, okay. I'm just gonna roll one more time in case. Yeah, yeah. Just crit. in case you get crit. Yeah. See if you can get inspiration out of it. Okay. Uh, wait. Not really. But you're keeping that. So uh, go ahead and give me the damage. Yeah. 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 Sure. Sure. Okay. Uh, so you slash one of her legs off. Um, she screams in pain again, but again, it's very clear that uh, just just weapon, just this weapon is not going to be enough. Like she she is, the more and more energy is sort of pouring out of her, and even as you cut her leg off, part of that leg turns to dust, and then her, her leg starts to regrow. It's insane, but it's happening right in front of you. Uh, anything else, Kelvin? Will be it. Okay. Uh, Farron. Farron, your back okay. hurts, your ribs hurt, and yeah. I'm going to need a constitution saving throw from you to see if you can carry on staving off the effects of being horribly drunk. Hmm. <laughs> You 14? can. Yeah, at the moment you're okay. Um, although, yeah. uh, the okay is a relative term. Yeah, like it, whereas previously, like in the in the shock of the moment, like you were clear, completely clear headed. At the moment, you're still a bit muzzy, but that might be partially the concussion from falling twenty feet rather than the truck. <laughs> okay, so all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand up, walk over to her, and I'm just gonna take a swing. I'm hoping, obviously, I'm fishing for a crit to try and cut her head off. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um. And I have advantage, right? Uh, you do. Um, she's prone. You do, yeah. And you can. Well, she's she's essentially on zero at the moment, anyway. Um, yeah. Go ahead and um, uh, give me a religion check as well. Okay. So you raise the blade, and then you're like, "Wait, no, no." Um, uh, cutting the head off doesn't do anything. Oh, actually, yeah. With that, not with that. I want to assume I know what will finish her off. Uh, yeah. You Is need. That, um, yeah. You need radiant damage. Wooden stick. Well, oh uh, yeah. Okay, so you remember the <laughs> vampire. You remember the vampires can be staked through the heart. Um, mm. uh, you're not with an eight. Even with an eighteen, you have a feeling that there's another condition to the stake mm. kill. There, there's something important that you're forgetting. Um. But uh, you also remember, you saw how much damage that Laffer did with the radiant damage. You're reasonably yeah. certain that will stop this. But I couldn't stick her. 
uh, you can try and stake her if you want to. You, again, you just think there's something there's something you're not remembering. Hmm. Um, I mean, so even if I got a crit, that wouldn't stop the regeneration. No, out of no, no. Okay. St st Strahd Strahd zombies get killed by crits. Um, as mm. do as do normal zombies, but uh, vampires. Vampire regeneration has very specific things that turn it off. Okay. Um. So I'm just gonna look around. Is there any like just is there is there like a I imagine the broken crates nearby? Could I oh, grab yeah, yeah. just a bit of that? Uh, you, you just I'm just gonna. So I'm you, just gonna drive. This. <laughs> sorry. Uh. You you can definitely get a stake from around here. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stake. It might not kill it, but it can't hurt. Okay. Give it a try. Uh, so, uh, we'll call this the equivalent of a, a spear attack, essentially. So, okay. um, or whatever your modifier would be if you were using a spear. Uh, it would be just plus two, I think, because uh, I don't have good strength. Okay. So, d d20 plus two. Fourteen! Uh, you've got advantage on that. Oh, yeah. Hold it again. Aha! <laughs> Not my fucking day. So you snatch up a piece of, like, a, a broken spar of wood from, from the crate, you stab it down, yeah. and it literally splinters apart. Mm. Like, it, it doesn't it doesn't even impale her. It just breaks in your yeah. hand. Farron's just gonna, like, oh, fuck this. Cool. It's not my day. Your hand is full of, <laughs> your hand is full of splinters. Um, yeah. oh, no. I'm, I'm just gonna move out the way, let Lafa come and deal with this. All right. Uh, Marin. Alrighty. Round two. Wait. Um. So let me. Oh, where's my mouse? I can't see my mouse. That's great. That's grand. So e e e even as you're, even as you're struggling with your <laughs> mouse, uh, in front of you on this workbench uh, that she was crouching on, um, the vampire lady uh, has lost her leg. She's lost her arm. Energy is crackling across her body, attempting to regenerate these grievous wounds. Um, and Marin, um, you realize you actually recognize this person. Maybe it's the light of uh, Laffer from above, or maybe it's the light from all the blasts and so forth, but um, this lady, you have seen her before. Uh, she's not the lady like previously. She's not the vampire who visited you. But, and this might help explain why she might be able to get into the shop at least, she is one of your customers. Or was. This person lived in Valaki. You remember they had a family. Um, they have, or had, children. Um, they were an upstanding citizen. Uh, you think this person was a dressmaker. Uh, they, they came to you for herbal remedies, tinctures, the usual kinds of things that people in Valaki buy from you. Still right. doesn't change that I'm gonna kill her. Oh, but. for sure, but I'm just saying, you, you remember who she is. She's been to the shop before. Okay. Uh, her name was Ariadne, you think. Well, that's actually kind of a pretty name. Alright. So... I'm going to use the alchemical fire. Okay. Way I don't burn down my whole place. I mean that it, that is a risk. <laughs> For sure, if you're using the alchemical fire. So she's right next to you, so you can just kind of pour it on, pour it on, like strike it and pour it on her rather than like throwing it. But uh. Yeah. Uh, so you essentially give me a ranged attack roll um, with advantage to counter the disadvantage. Oh no, she's not in melee with you. Just just with advantage because she's essentially unconscious at the moment. Um, just with advantage. Just don't roll a one twice. So ranged attack, you said. Yeah, range ranged attack. Yeah. Uh, okay. So so dex based because you. Yeah. So um, with a sixteen. Uh, you dump the alchemical fire on her. Um, uh, let me just read something. We're milestone. Uh, well, I mean, if if it carries on for too long, it might. Um, well, yeah. Uh, but uh, alchemist fire. All right. So make a ranged attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. On a hit, they take one d four fire at the start of each of their turns. 
and then they can end this damage by using their dexterity check to extinguish the flames. Yeah, okay, cool. So go ahead and roll me the d4. She is on fire now. Okay, uh, so uh, she's thrashing around, trying to regenerate, trying to avoid all of your strikes as you stab and thrust down at her. Um, the fire splashes across her. She starts to burn. The screaming only gets louder. But Marin, she's regenerating even the fire damage. God damn it. Like, uh, you, you've read uh, in books before uh, to do with alchemy, Marin, about regeneration. Um, but but even trolls can't withstand fire. This is crazy. Yeah. Like, she, she, she is... Uh, like she's lost limbs, the fire is burning into her, and you get the feeling that she's still going to regenerate all this damage if you give her enough time. If you give her, like, looks at her hit points. If if you give this lady approximately like forty eight seconds, all of the damage you have done to her will come back. She will be healthy, oh un unhealthy because she's an undead, but she will be good as she was. if you give her that time. So, you pour fire on her. She's rolling around. None of it's spilled onto the cellar yet, although uh, if she starts moving while she's on fire, she will start setting stuff on fire. Um, that's an action. Uh, anything else, Marin? Oh, uh also the hex. Again, like, the necrotic damage, likewise, doesn't seem to be stopping her from regenerating. Um, like, it opens another wound, and then the wound auto almost immediately starts regenerating. Damn. Not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Um. Yeah. That was my action. Uh, let me see. For... I mean, as, um, a, as a resident of Barovia, Marin, you know, pe people don't kill vampire spawns. Vampire spawns kill people. Yeah. Can't chew her away because she fucking god. How does that even work? Like you don't know. <laughs> no, I'm saying because she was a customer, but now mm -hmm. she's dead. Mm -hmm. Like, doesn't that null and void that? Uh, Marin, in character, your character is racking their heads, racking their brains, and being like, "But myths told me this." Science. She, okay. She, um, she is. She is a fact. She is there, so she must have been able to get in somehow. Where that logically leads you to conclude. Well, that's up to you. Um. I'm trying to think what can be. Um. I How don't... can I be useful? Um, alright, F it. I'm just gonna end my turn. I really okay. don't know what I can do. As you, as you stare at each other across this rapidly regenerating corpse monster, Laffer, upstairs. Well, you can't see any of them, and uh, you heard like shouts and screams and burning sounds. They're probably all dead. Cool, I got it. You should, it. You should just leave, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, no, nah, I am gonna. <laughs> No? Move only as far as I need to to be able to see. Yeah, so that so. is kind of the problem. Um, yeah, okay. You are 10 feet. You move back away from the trapdoor again. So you're 10 feet away yeah. again. So you have to get. You have to move 10 feet to get to the top of the trapdoor. Yeah. She's not below the trapdoor anymore. None of them are. That's okay. So you have to climb down the ladder. Um, Can the ladder, I. Go ahead. Ooh, sorry, go on. No, you go. Keep going. The ladder's 20 feet, but I. If you can attack with one hand, you don't have to go all the way down the ladder. You could just go five feet down the ladder. I mean, I can technically attack with one hand. Ooh. I don't need to do the fantastic the archer thing. Yeah, That's just, just like click your fingers and an arrow appears and it flies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In which case, yeah. So you, you spend twenty feet of movement until you're at the top of the ladder, um, and you can see mm -hmm. you as well, Laffer, can see this gruesome scene. Farron stabbing down with a stake, Collins hacking down with an axe, Kelvin chopping limbs off with his greatsword, Marin pouring fire onto this lady, and you just get this impression that, like, it it's delaying the inevitable, but all of it is just 
the vampire is regenerating from all of it. Yeah. I guess I would have seen how much I hurt yes. the vampire with my Very damage. Much so. I don't know if I'd know that that's how you kill vampires, but I no, would just I don't, be wanting to do that anyway. Either, but but you, you saw... Yeah, you saw you saw how yeah. much the radiant damage did. Definitely, it was right. viscerally well. apparent. In that case, I'm going to use my inspiration again, which I regained from the last nat twenty. So that will counteract and... the disadvantage for her being prone. Yep, and then I'm going to cast guiding bolt at second level. All right. Would recommend hitting. Ah <laughs> oh, yes. With a, 20, with a 22, you miss, because she turns out to be Tiamat in disguise now. Um, <laughs> with a 22, Laffa, from the top of the ladder, your guiding bolt zips through the cellar, momentarily illuminating it like a flare, striking the vampire in the neck. And with one last scream of agony, there is a flash that momentarily blinds Kelvin, Collins, Ferran, and Marin. Flash of starlight. And after that flash, you hear the sound of something turning to dust. And all you are left with on the table is an outline where the vampire spawn was. Congrats, guys. You just killed your first vampire. <laughs> cool. Um, I guess... Let's do it again! <laughs> <laughs> Let's do Strahd right now! <laughs> I mean, technically, uh... Strahd right up there. <laughs> That was uh, Strahd, wasn't it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, but yeah, so. For a moment, everybody. You just stare. And then what are you doing? Um, I was just going to say bedtime. <laughs> no, no, he's gonna say that. We need to, we need to go, we need to go check on the Raven kid upstairs. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, that that Raven kid you were talking about, the the Kenku or whatever. It's it's still upstairs. It's it's not dead. Uh, th what? Ta it's ta your bed's kind of a, a bit of a gore fest right now. I wouldn't recommend uh, unless you got a strong stomach. I wouldn't recommend coming upstairs. And I'm gonna. I want to run, go up the ladder, and join Laffa to, to go and check on this woman. Mm -hmm. Sorry, this kid. Uh, cool. As, um, as does you do so, does like... anyone need? Sorry, go. I think I think you're going to ask what I was going to mention anyway. Go ahead. Oh yeah. D does anyone need any healing? <laughs> Me, so much healing. I mean, to be fair, we right, the only thing that's hurt me was falling down the stairs and jumping down a ladder. Yeah, the only thing that hurt you were your own decisions, which is such a, is such a, I, such I a fair the first, statement. The, the, first, the first fall damage was not, you know, I had to walk downstairs, that was unavoidable. Yeah, you had to walk downstairs and you were drunk, which was your own yeah. decision. I was gonna <laughs> say, isn't that like, what was drunk people's like conundrum is the stairs yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. fucking stairs all right everything should be i'm gonna nice. drop my starry form okay um and Man's then gonna go, that is bloody useful by the way well you're probably gonna enjoy this as well then and then i take on the chalice form with my um final wild shape for the day um, and now, so who actually needs healing, because I can do a I, bit. I think it's just Farron. I think everyone else, uh, remarkably, fine, yeah. is unscathed. Yeah, ah. it's just me. <laughs> I am having a bit of a shock at the day. This is not my session, clearly. <laughs> it's not over yet, you know? It might be. You never know. I, it's time for it to get worse, so no. I mean, I that's in, true. In game, isn't this still the same day that we woke up in the castle? <laughs> yeah. Uh... No, 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 you've had a rest since then. 
We've had a long rest since rest. then? Uh, yeah. You had a long rest No, we haven't. Though, right? No? No, okay. No, yeah. it's still the same yeah, day. This is, this is the, still the same horrible, horrible day. Yes. So yeah, okay. we're going to sort the kid out and then we're going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, then, I probably, um, if I knew that it was only Theron who needed... You wouldn't have used oh, Chaos Form. More right. okay. I wouldn't have used my... Um, my second shape, just in case we get into more shit. Yeah. So, yeah, Kelvin. Yeah. Mm, I wanted to ask, since this was uh, my first combat, so sorry for the stupid questions. No, it's okay. Um, would there be any loot uh, from the the mobs that we oh, kill, well, or like, is it just turned to dust and like nothing's to be found? That is a good question. Um, the at least on her form, there isn't any loot. Uh, she has turned to dust. That said, she was in a crate. Uh, a crate that wasn't in Marin's cellar before. Um, it is it is possible that there's something in that crate. Uh, so you can feel free to... Uh, do, you th do you think that's what Kelvin would be doing as Farron was sort of climbing to, to sort of um, uh, check on the child? Uh, Laffer was about to heal him. Do you think uh, Kelvin would be walking um, into the crate? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and he before 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 doing so, he would definitely um, uh, talk to the rest of the gang in a very loud voice, so everybody can hear. I've seen this before. I'm afraid that our next priority must be obtaining new weapons. Otherwise, we are gonna be. You there? The internet cut you off. Uh, Kelvin, can you hear us? Dramatic hero speech. Mm -hmm. I'll you <laughs> I assume probably we need new weapons and we probably need better armor. I mean, that too. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Uh, you hear me? It, yeah. yeah, we can now. It cut you off halfway through what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, not to repeat myself, we need to, uh, to get basically better weapons, more efficient weapons, um, if we are to encounter uh, more of these creatures. And then Kelvin would go to the, to the box to inspect it. Sure. Give me an investigation check. Uh, Laffer, mm -hmm. what, what, what were you doing with regards to healing, sir? Um, is, is there a limit to how many, like, good berries you can eat in a day? But they're not, like... <laughs> I just kind of imagine them being, like, lax and you eat too many. <laughs> yeah, ki ki kind of. Um... You're supposed to eat one an hour for one HP, from my understanding. Y yeah. But so... it's not to good to overindulge because they're so big. Yeah, they're, so... like, the size of a kiwi. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I couldn't so just, like, drop the... ten and... Yeah. So there's no hard limit. You, you you can eat ten good berries, but uh, if you do, uh, it is as if you have eaten enough food for ten days in yeah, one okay. go. So um, I th I think it's less that there's no hard limit to in, in extremis when you need to heal that much, like that much, like otherwise you're gonna die, sort of thing. I'm sure people will do it. Um, but outside of that sort of situation, most people wouldn't, just because it will make you feel horrible. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, we're gonna yeah. roll Laffer around, because he ate too many. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just gonna... Uh, I'll just cast Healing Word at second level for you. Okay, so 2d4 plus uh, spellcasting ability modifier. So, oh yeah. Oh, oh no, the lucky feat doesn't work for. It's only for like it D20 doesn't. rolls. Isn't I'm it? sorry. Yeah. Oh, not not feet, Sorry, the halfling luck. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, but Farron, you heal eight. Um, that 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 definitely makes you feel better. Uh, it nearly doubles mm. your current hit points. Um, yeah. Uh, and it brings you about the bloodied mark. So you know it, you're in pain, but it's manageable pain now, rather than like, oh god, I'm gonna uh, die uh, pain. I'll, I'll clap Laffer on the back and say thanks, bud. I needed that. Mm. I can uh, help a bit more if you need. Um, 
Uh, I'm more open. I think I'm more open. I think save your spells. We want to we want to try and see what we can do for this kid upstairs. He's he's more pressing than me. Hmm. All right. Okay. So, uh, Farron and Laffer, are you going upstairs? Yeah. Okay. I think um, so. Kelvin is investigating the crate with that fourteen. Yep, I've seen that. Um, Collins and Marin, what are you two doing? I'm going upstairs because clearly. Sure. I think Collins is just gonna say, uh, uh, "I'll stay behind with Kelvin, but yeah, yell if you need anything. I don't want to deal with that right now." <laughs> Seems legit. Uh, are you are you giving Kelvin a hand searching this place for like other hid- other other hidden traps or vampires or anything like that? Yeah, so I, if I can give him advantage on that yeah, absolutely. roll, absolutely. Uh, so Kelvin, you can give me another investigation roll, uh, and we'll take the higher of the two. Okay. So, so much. I mean, <laughs> it might be the difference between a, a, a success or a failure. You never know. Uh, okay. So. As you start scavenging in Marin's basement, um, <laughs> don't get too comfy with it. I mean, uh, all I, right. Uh, the the good news is, as a herbalist and alchemist, Marin has made some healing potions, and uh, in fact, you just made a batch of healing potions, Marin. Um, the two of you find like a small box of five vials of healing potion. So there there are five potions of healing. Um, that you find amongst the various the debris of uh, the things that uh, uh, the, most of the cellar was intact but there were some boxes that got smashed up um, by maybe maybe the the other vampire it's difficult to tell uh, in the crate um, yeah you do find something uh, Kelvin um, perhaps this was on the uh, the vampire spawn like on their clothing uh, but when they leapt out after Marin, it may have just literally ripped off their dress. Uh, you find a brooch, um, which hold on, just getting up. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, it looks like um, uh, it's kind of like a chain brooch. Uh, there are there are two shields on either side. And there's like a, a golden chain between them uh, that that would sort of clasp uh, a dress or a cloak together. Hmm. Um, and I do not know um, if it has any magical properties or if it improves uh, uh, our abilities in any way, right? You could give me an arcana check to see if you've seen one of them before. Mm-hmm. Okay. Coming up. Nope. Mm. Uh, you, you've. I mean, it, it, it is very fancy. It might be magical. You're, you're not sure. Um, uh, so certainly, it looks like it's worth money, at least. Um, but uh, where, whether or not it can improve your abilities or not, you, you don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, if Collins is done searching for, I'm, I'm going to give him a, a help. I'm going to give him some help for looking uh, paper and kill uh, and oh, ink. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So be- between the between the two of you, uh, well, I mean, I'll ask you, Marin. Did did you have paper, quill, and ink down here? I'd imagine so, right? Sounds like the sort of thing you need yeah. for your business. Yeah. Yeah. Get to inventory everything. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, Collins, uh, uh, between you and Kelvin, you're, you sort of open some cupboards and so forth, and you're, you're able to find, um, you're able to find those things. Cool, thank you. Yeah, so if he's done, um, we would join the rest of the gang upstairs. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah, Colin, Collins is still hanging back. He'll, he'll go up there, but he doesn't want to go back in the room, unless they need something. Sure, yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, you guys head back upstairs to, to join the others. In the meantime, um, the Kelvin, 
uh, sorry, Farron, um, Laffer, and Marin. Uh, you make your way quickly up the ladder, uh, past the again the debris of Marin's shop, back into mm -hmm. uh, the gloom of the stairwell and the landing, approaching this bedroom. Uh, as you do, because the the child has no idea of your fate, uh, when they hear footsteps coming up the stairs, they they begin crying almost helplessly. It's as if they expect the vampire spawn to be approaching. I'll, I'll walk in first because he's already seen me before. Now, so it's okay. It's okay. How does he look, by the way, when we yeah, walk in? Yeah, so it's it, it's remarkable. Um, even even between um, leaving him and returning, uh, I mean, he's still opened up. He's still very badly hurt, but. He's considerably less than he was even seconds ago. Mm. Uh, it's it, unlike the vampire. There's no energy or anything. It's just literally like his flesh is like regrowing at a speed that's phenomenal that no one normally has. And for some reason, he's not dying of blood loss, as if uh, his body is I'm... producing more blood than he needs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up to him. Just be like, Look, it's okay, kid. It's okay. We had the. She's gone. She's gone. You're safe now. But uh, before I let you go, I've got to ask: How the hell are you still alive?